Hello my friends, welcome to Prime Strings. I'm Henriette and today we're playing Seahorses. I'll play it for you first. noticed that I was playing long bows for every minim and half bows for every crotchet. I'll show you how I do that again by playing the first line. Long bow. Now up to the middle. And back. Long bow. Now up to the middle from this end. and you're well on your way with this piece. Super. Okay, now this time I want us to test our first finger. So I would like you to check your finger line. Your finger line should be level with the E string. I want you to check that your thumb is just peeking over the edge and that your wrist is pushed out as if you hold a tennis ball in your hand like that. So that is the correct shape for your hand. So let's get you ready and let's test the first finger on the G string before we start. Now before you go, hover your finger above that spot and then we'll start from the beginning. We'll go a touch slower now so you can join in with me. One, two, three, four. two notes is to stretch your arm forward so you be careful that your arm doesn't go that way but it goes in front of you so you end up about here with your bowing. Let's play the last two notes and stretch and back. Now let's do that again and you will see if you stretch forwards enough with your arm that the point of your bow stays really close to the bridge, which is this thing, and that's where we want to be with our bow. Ready? Just the last two notes, and... Let's just hold it here so you can check. Can you see my point is still on the bow? If you find yourself sliding that way, it means that your arm has gone to the side too much, so you want to go forwards more, and that leaves your bow by the bridge. So let's do the last two notes once again, and, and back. So whenever you play two long notes, really work on pushing your bow arm forwards. Shall we play the whole song once more? So let's check over your bow hold this time. I want to see your thumb that's bent underneath. I would like to see your little finger, which is on the side edge here. And off we go. One, two, three, four.
progress with this piece. If you've enjoyed this lesson, feel free to share it with your friends and perhaps you can also subscribe to the channel. Goodbye.